Let's bring in our political editor, Andrew Clennell. And Andrew, a milestone in the calendar towards the referendum. That's right, Kieran. We officially have a referendum on an Indigenous voice to Parliament later this year now. I suspect the vote will be in October. The Constitution Alteration Referendum Bill for the Voice passed the Parliament this morning, not before some passionate words, particularly against the proposal to enshrine the Indigenous Voice Advisory Body in the Constitution. Those words came from either side of the political aisle in Jacinta Price... Pauline Hanson and from Lydia Thorpe. The voice is four things. It's risky, it's unknown, it's divisive and it's permanent. And if the yes vote is successful, we will be divided forever. The poor little black fellas are begging for a seat at the table and all we get is to become advisers. They've got to stop the suicides. They've got to stop assimilating us into their system. I'm here, yes, I'm here to destroy the white supremacy that is represented in this place. Uh, Senator Thorpe. And Albo's obviously got no guts. Just because you can say that you, you've got a connection with this land for 65,000 years, I don't care. Just because you've got your cave paintings and your you dream time and you have this connection with the land. What about my connection with this land? This is a critical moment in our country's history. It is the right thing to do. The eyes 52 and the nose 19. Yeah. I call the part. Well, the legislation to set up the referendum passed 52 votes to 19. The PM then gave a press conference with Indigenous Affairs Minister Linda Burney, Attorney-General Mark Dreyfus and Indigenous leaders to mark the passage of the legislation. Anthony Albanese's pitch in response to the Senate debate appeared to be back Goldilocks. If people look at the balance of some people saying this goes too far, some saying it doesn't go far enough, I say we've got the balance right. It is just that, an advisory body... But voice is a powerful word because it will give First Nations people a voice. Getting constitutional change in Australia is a difficult thing to do. They also said that you couldn't win a by-election from uh, that was held by the opposition if you were the government. Uh, we did that just a little while ago. What we're doing here is something that, frankly, is more important than any by-election that has ever been held. The PM argued there was plenty of support for this voice proposal, despite the naysayers. People in my caucus intend to campaign. People in the Liberal Party will campaign. Every major peak business organisation has declared support. The trade union movement have declared support. Every major sporting code has declared support. Every major faith group in Australia has declared their support. Civil organisations like ACOS and Salvation Army and others have declared their support. But now it's up to the Australian people. OK, so when it came to the Senate vote, a majority of the coalition supported it because Peter Dutton had pledged to support the referendum being set up, even if he's opposing the question. But some voted against because they want to be involved in piecing together the no campaign. And you can see the no votes there. Pauline Hanson, perhaps unsurprisingly, quite a few nationals. Ralph Babbitt, Alex Antich from the Libs amongst them. And the voice, and there's a second a lot of them, 19 in all. The voice featured heavily in question time. Prime Minister, why are Australians being asked to make the biggest change to Australia's constitution in decades, create a permanent new body without any details how it would operate? The referendum is very clear. It's about two things. Order. It's about recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people is warned. in our constitution. And it's the member about Deacon listening is to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people on matters that affect them. What areas of public policy will not be within the scope of the voice? If she listened more carefully to the debate, oh, yeah. she wouldn't have to answer that Order. question. What I find Order. absolutely the deputy, the leader of the is that you are uh, throwing red herrings.